So they're probably going to start on Smashville, which is relatively good for both characters. I mean, no stage is really bad for a character in general, so... I guess it's just all about how each player plays in the neutral and how they try to convert off of each option and stuff. Yeah, because you said it before, like, ZSS has a lot of options to kind of just outspace Mario. And that's one thing, you know, Mario has to struggle with, is just getting in when he has, you know, those big hitboxes that just keep him out. But on the other hand, Mario is such a huge punish character, so that if Kazen does make an unsafe punish option or unsafe approach option, just like he did there, he's going to be able to combo in and do a lot of percent. That wasn't as much percent as he probably could have done, but he didn't want to, like, risk falling off the ledge and going for a weird option there. Safe play by Fonz. We see Kaysen kind of just, you know, running away, zaring, trying to get some space. Catch Fonz overextending. Ooh, that was a really good catch there, because Fonz had been following in a little bit, so just being able to catch him with that grab was really smart. Ooh, goes for the Nair, no down B. Ooh, charge it, that uh, nope. Not gonna do it. He just hit him with the uh, non-sweet spot hit. Although it's it's called the not sweet spot hit because it's still super strong, but it's not just like spike. So both players are relatively even now. Not one player has been able to really convert off of like some huge combos. So it's it's just been neutral plays and they're pretty even in the neutral. So. Whoever can get this first kill will probably not seal it, but be pretty close to winning. Okay, so Kazen takes that. So it's now all about Kazen camping out in the neutral, preventing Mario from doing anything weird. Misses the forward air. Yeah, because Kazen has the perfect tools to kind of just keep away from Mario. Ooh, Catch what a smart you. pivot grab. He's just reading him like, ooh. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, Fonz has just been caught in this disadvantage state, not able to find a way out. Now Fonce he's finally back yep. in neutral. Can he cover him on the ledge? No, misses that grab. Kazen's still in disadvantage. Okay, they finally... All right, Kazen's able to reset neutral now, so it's all about whether he can... Never mind. I'm... Wow. I like saying something and just getting interrupted by a random Mario up smash. Yeah. Yeah, you can see Fonz is definitely looking for those up smashes because Kate's, uh, Kaysen started jumping around a bit more. That up smash is such a great anti-air. Is that going to seal it? Nope. Nice DI. Dude, rip every balloon that has ever been killed in yeah. this set. <laughs> it costs money to make, by the way. Ooh, now we've got his up tilts going. He's going to be able to convert. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Nope, Kaysen's able to get back on stage safely. Oh, Fonz is still trapping him. Yep, Kaysen's got to reset neutral, try to do what he did earlier now, because Fonz has got him oh, in his Kaysen head, going for misses that. the forward smash. Yeah, crazy up B, that nice should be it, smash. down smash, forward smash, gonna seal it. Yeah, because Fonz had Kazen in his head, and Kazen was like, Kazen says and is known for choking. So, yeah, that if he can B really was... catch Kazen in a huge disadvantage state, Kazen could go for random weird things, like he went for that up B there, I'm assuming that was probably a neutral B or something else, trying to go for any other option other than up B. Be, yeah. Goes for the up B. It was unfortunate that Fonz wasn't able to punish in time, and because of that, Kazen was able to take the game. So, so looks like they're going to Lilat. Okay, it's a little interesting. You don't see a Lilat pick often from Kazen and Fonz, but you never know. I don't, it's just been mostly neutral exchanges, so I can see why this stage was picked. Neither of them want them to have some crazy confirms off of triplats, and they just want to see who can do better in the neutral. And Fonz probably would have been able to do so much more off of that up throw to back air, but Lilat stage tilted, so nothing happened. That's fun. Up air, up air, up air, up B, my dude, he's yep. dead. Ow. Fires him straight off the top, uh, killing Fonz at below 70%. Yeah. Ow, that hurts. It's so fun to watch because, like, you see him just get caught in this vortex. You can't do anything. Although, it must feel so terrible to get grabbed. Yeah, but now Kaysen can kind of just camp it out. He has such a huge lead. Here we go oh, again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so getting close. Greedy going. going for that re-grab. I'm assuming he was expecting the DI down, which he didn't do, it, essentially. Oh, my God. Less than oh. a minute. Only 35%. Kaysen takes the set off of Thons. Clean. Too well. I wouldn't say the first game was clean, but second game. Second game was just phenomenal.